Well, the Big Easy, no stranger to hard times, has taken in storm victims still recovering from Laura, staying in hotels as they wait nearly three weeks after the storm for power and clean water to be restored. And even as Sally tracks more westward, folks in New Orleans know that they're not out of the woods just yet. Jordan James has spent the past two days in Louisiana speaking with people, and he has an update tonight. New Orleans has become a place of refuge for evacuees out of Lake Charles after Hurricane Laura. As Hurricane Sally inched closer toward the Gulf Coast, anxiety started to grow for those who have already lost so much. I said, oh my God, not another one. For Lorena Arsenal, peace has been hard to find this year. After her husband died in May, three months later, her apartment in Lake Charles was destroyed by Hurricane Laura. Material things can be replaced, but my life couldn't be because I probably would have got killed. Tens of thousands of evacuees from Lake Charles have spent the last several days here in New Orleans. Like Arsenal, many of them are staying in hotels provided by the American Red Cross. We wouldn't have been able to pay for that. Help me up, and they've been very good, real nice people. We're just doing it different. Our mission looks different, but we're still doing the mission. Celeste Carpenter works with the Red Cross. She says right now they're utilizing 37 different hotels in New Orleans. That's where storm victims receive food, hygiene products, and medical services. Carpenter says they're also doing their best to social distance. I was nervous before I got here on how everything was going to work, and I'm so impressed. We took the tricks and tips and tried to modify it and tweak it into a workable thing because it is just during this time it's safer for everybody. Arsenal says she's grateful for the help and is looking at her time in the Big Easy as an unexpected blessing. It's nice to visit like visiting but always go back home from there. But it's always good to return home. If you know someone who still needs help out the Hurricane Laura, the American Red Cross says give them a call and they'll try their best to assist with relief efforts. We'll have that information posted on our website on how to contact them. Reporting here from New Orleans, Jordan James, 12 News.